Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be taking a look at Phobos ransomware. As you can see, we have a sample on the desktop. I'll be executing it shortly and you'll see how the ransomware works. Unlike some of the other variants we have looked at recently, this ransomware does not target mega large enterprises and corporations. Instead, it targets the home users, the small businesses, and typically has a ransomware payout of about $7,000. Now, if we analyze it on Intezer, by the way, thank you to Intezer for sponsoring this video. As you can see on the left, the file size is very low, so we've only got a 55 kilobyte file. It's your typical Win32 EXE, and it's a very effective encryptor. So it's kind of ideal for a ransomware as a service. And that is why we're talking about it today. So this is not a particularly new sample, but it has resurfaced in the second quarter of 2021. And since then, it's been going strong. We've seen quite a few different variants recently. One of them is called DevOps. And while threats like Darkseid have been in the limelight, threats like Phobos have been steadily getting more and more traction. And recently I went to Bleeping Computer forums and what I found is that we had a ton of Phobos related complaints or forum posts from users saying I've been infected by Phobos or I've been infected by this random extension and then you do some research and turns out it's some variant of Phobos. So I wanted to go through this and make sure you're all aware of this threat and what it does. So from a MITRE capabilities perspective, as you can see, we're maxed out on discovery. So this thing has all sorts of file and directory discovery, encrypts everything, network share discovery. So if you've got an external storage device or a NAS attached to your computer, it'll encrypt that too. It also has process discovery, queries the registry, checks what software you have. So it's quite heavy on the telemetry. And mostly that is to gather information about what else it can encrypt on the network. It also does uh, runtime linking, drops a lot of files. If you'll see, this is actually one of the dropped files that we'll be executing today. When I put this through on Vars Total for related samples, it just lit up as a Christmas tree, as you'll see in a moment. There you go. Now, going back to our system, we are ready to execute this threat. Rename it to exe. And before we do that, just want to open up our folders and show you what we've got here. So as usual, we've got the last copy of all of Shakespeare's plays on the system. So if anything bad were to happen, that would be a tragic loss to humanity. It might be a Shakespearean tragedy we're about to witness. And as you'll see, the moment we execute Phobos, first thing it does, turns off Windows Firewall. A lot of ransomware and other threats will do this. Typical Trojan behavior these days. And within seconds, all of our files have been encrypted. So as you can see, this is a no-fuss ransomware. It does not take any time, does not try to do some sort of anti-reverse engineering stuff. Encrypts everything, and within a second, you've got the ransom note. So as it says, your files have been encrypted due to a security problem with your PC. If you want to restore them, email helpbackup at email.tg. Just trying to look professional here. If a user is naive and doesn't know what ransomware is, they might think that this is like something legitimate that they are dealing with. Free decryption as a guarantee, so they will decrypt five files to show you that they are true to their word, or more so that they actually have capabilities for decryption, and then they have the usual guide on buying bitcoins to pay them, and attention, do not rename the encrypted files. Do not try to decrypt using third-party software. Decryption of your files with the help of third parties may cause increased price they add their fee to ours, or you can become the victim of a scam. It's kind of funny, like ransomware is warning me about a scam. <laughs> so not only does it have one instance of this uh, ransom note, it spawns three, because, you know, just to be sure. All the files now have this uh, DevOps-based extension, so this is that variant we're looking at. And on the desktop again, we have multiple ransom nodes, some as an HTM application and some in the old school text format. If we take a look at our picture, same story here, everything is encrypted and also adds this little email address at the end of each file. Good customer service and product design. Windows could learn something from here. But in all seriousness, this is a pretty nasty threat and it's one that goes under the radar because it's not behind any of the major stories that you see, but it's actually just as deadly, if not more, because of the number of businesses it's going to affect. 
So as we have holiday season coming up, watch out for Phobos and its associated variants. We're looking at DevOps here, but there will be more. And make sure you have your backups ready to go. And more importantly, that you have active protection on the system, because you never know. If you want to know how different security suites fare against ransomware like this, we do have all of that content for free on the channel. So don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. If you would like to work with us to help protect your business or test your security solution, feel free to reach out at the pcsecuritychannel.com or tpsc.com tech. If you'd like to do threat research and analyze files like this yourself, check out Intizer, our sponsors for this video. They have a brilliant platform called Intizer Analyze, which I use every day. And this is how I come across a lot of the samples that I showcase on the channel. They use code genes to detect specific variants. So you're not even dependent on the AV engines for detection. You can take a deeper look into the code, the strings, and also the MITRE techniques and IOCs at a glance. It's a really easy to use UI and you've even got extended dynamic analysis should you need it right here with Cape Sandbox. If you go to the home screen, you can also see a lot of trending samples that other researchers are looking at. So this is a great place to get your information. And best of all, they have a free account. So you can go over to analyze.intazer.com, sign up today and try it out. Also, we recently hit 200,000 subscribers. So thank you all very much for subscribing. Don't forget to like and share this video. This is Leo and as always, stay informed, stay secure.